A lot of questions and some uh, difficult to find answers. You want to get some uh, information. Now, the Sh Sri Lankan Secretary of Foreign Affairs, Palitha Kahona, is uh, calling in from Colombia. He joins us on the phone. Sir, thank you very much for being with us. Is the Army using cluster bombs? I can say categorically that the Army does not use cluster bombs. It does not possess cluster bombs, and it does not procure cluster bombs. I say this with authority because I have since... Uh, hearing the story, I have verified the, uh, this, uh, the facts with our procurement committee. And then, of course, let me also make a couple of other comments on what the UN spokesman said a while ago. Uh, since he made this uh, assertion early in the morning, uh, we have spoken to the head of the UN office here, and he has, I understand, told Mr. Weiss to tone down his comments and also to verify his facts. The, it's not the last hospital in the enclave. There's another hospital which is in the no-fire zone, declared as such by the government of Sri Lanka. So, uh, the government of Sri Lanka has declared a, a specific area as a no-fire zone, and there is a hospital in there. And, of course, the one uh, facility that he referred to is not a UN hospital. It's a government-run hospital. Every single doctor, every single nurse, uh, every single employee in that hospital is maintained by the government. In the circumstances, uh, even to uh, insinuate that the government was responsible for the bombing of the hospital, I think is absolutely malicious. Uh, and but, Mr. sir, let me interrupt. Weiss, let me just I jump in there right Mr. now. The Weiss UN has not little... said the UN. Sir, let me jump in here. The UN did not say that the government has been or the army has been responsible for the bombing of the hospital. They're saying that these bombings are taking place. And there are civilians that are being caught. Civilians have been killed. Some 52 civilians so far have been killed. Human Rights Watch is saying that is accusing the Sri Lankan government, your government, of, quote, callous indifference towards the quarter of a million civilians who are caught in this 115 square mile area. What are you doing to protect them? Rather, rather an emotional statement that you just made. Uh, for one thing, we do not believe that there are 250,000 civilians caught in there. Nobody's ever counted them. There are figures being bandied around in the public arena with no substantiating action at all. We don't think there are many people in the two districts which are formerly occupied by the Tamil Tigers. And that's one. Second, these are our own people. We have no uh, interest in harming our own people. We have told the Tamil Tigers to let them go but they are being held against their will as a human shield. We have declared a no-fire zone into which we have asked the civilian to move, the civilians to move, and then over the weekend, the president of Sri Lanka declared a unilateral no-fire 48 hours so that the civilians could move into government-controlled areas and into safety. But we, we now have heard uh, authoritatively from the ICRC and the UN that the LTT itself has prevented the people from moving out because for them they are a shield and it is their last hope. The, 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 the reality, sir, is that, that, that we can talk about the, the Tamil targets doing one thing, the, you know, the, the government doing another thing. The reality is civilians are being caught. And the, the fact of the matter is we're not getting a clear picture out of what is happening because you're not allowing independent journalists to go in and cover this very important situation. Why are you banning reporters from going in there? The independent journalists have been taken to Mulatif, Kilinochi, Kunarin, uh, and all the areas near the fighting. The fighting is taking place now in a small area, very small area, 200 kilometers, square kilometers in extent. And that is so small. You must have a death wish if you want to go into that area to report the situation. Uh, I think it, it, it's for your own safety, for the safety of the journalists, that the government doesn't want them to go in. Because if even one journalist were to be hurt, we will have another problem to face internationally. But if a journalist of an independent organization wants to go in, will you, will you allow them to? Uh, I, I, I think the government is a responsible government. We do not encourage people to uh, indulge in that sort of activity. I think is it, that it, a uh, no? all the information is, 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 all the information that you need is available. Journalists have been helicoptered into the very edge of the fighting including the BBC, including the CN, uh, CNN and Al Jazeera and Indian uh, 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 TV channels. And they have been satisfied with what they have got. 
the thing is that there's video that's come out of uh, the area that's uh, from Tamil, from a Tamil group, and I understand that the government is disputing what is shown on that video. What, what do you say about what is seen, uh, what we are seeing, and what is being shown around the world that's coming out of this video? Is, is this the first time that you have seen a uh, LTT propaganda video being circulated around the world? No. Uh, this, is, this won't be the last time either. They are fighting a desperate last-ditch battle, and they will use every opportunity available to them to make their point, which is to survive, because they need to survive to fight the day. And we will okay, not so why don't you set do the that. record straight for us, sir? What is the government doing, what is the army doing to protect the civil civilians there right now? Uh, the government has dropped leaflets inviting the civilians to move out. The government continues to f send out f convoys of food and medical supplies to these areas. And what is more, yesterday, a group of 3,000 civilians started walking towards the government line, escorted by a Catholic priest, and they were turned back by the LTT. So the government is keen that the LTT let the people go so that they can be looked after and they, are, they can be safe. But the LTT does not let anybody go out. And this has been the, the subject of comment by a number of international personalities, including the four co-chairs, consisting of the United States, Japan, the European Union, and Norway. They have asked the LTT to let the people go. So what will it take now for there to be a ceasefire? Uh, it, uh, it doesn't need to be a ceasefire. The LTT just needs to lay down its weapons and come back calmly onto our side. Then there will be no problem because all the civilians in that area will be safe. The government has no intention of harming the civilians. These are our people. We do not wish to harm our people.